I took a couple blows uh, to the back. To the they arm. were rubber. They were rubber, but they were still hard. Rubber crystals. I didn't mean to hit her. Honestly, I should have retired and gone out on top. Back in Vegas, you were on top, but I think that was just a hill. Now you're climbing a mountain. So, Jane, we'll start with you. Um, Deborah experiences some highs and lows in these first two episodes. She's invigorated by the prospect of her new material, but also a little doubtful. Can you speak a bit on what Deborah's going through and how she's feeling when the season picks up? Well, she suffers some uh, rather public humiliations, you know, her poster being painted out and being replaced by somebody young and considered much hipper and cooler. Her first wild boyfriend showing up with a woman. But she is, I think, really looking forward to getting back to her roots. But it's scary because she she knows that if it doesn't work, there's nothing really left for her. She's not about to go back to Vegas and, you know, work on a casino that's 40 minutes off the strip after, you know, headlining at the Palmetto. And so there's a lot of pressure as much as she's kind of enjoying it. It's it's very, very scary for her. And she hasn't felt that way in a long time where the stakes were so high. Hannah, Ava is in a state of like fear and panic when this picks up as a result of the email and the dirt that she spilled. I shouldn't have sent that. I was way out of line. I was just upset. And Deborah had just slapped me. And wait, she slapped you. Was that not in the email? No. Can you talk a little bit about her state of mind? Yeah, I mean, it's a mixture of stress, fear, sadness, probably some anger. It's really frustrating because she was, you know, high on pills and drunk when she sent this email that doesn't actually reflect her true feelings about Deborah. She was mad and she's a little immature, you know, and so she acts out and she has to kind of deal with the consequences of that. I absolutely love the scene where Ava finally comes clean to Deborah and Deborah is hurling rocks and crystals at Ava's head. What was it like filming that scene and Hannah, did you remain uninjured? Because it looked like Jean has an arm on her. Oh, that she does. Okay, Nick, she has got a couple marks on her. And yeah, I sustained a couple. I, I took a couple blows uh, to the back. To the they arm. were rubber. They were rubber, but they were still hard. Rubber crystals. I didn't mean to hit her. No, Jean, it's okay. I'm pretty. I'm pretty <laughs> buff. I had no problem with it. Anything for the shot, and um, the shot we did get. You said you wouldn't hit me. Oh. If you move oh. back, well, I had to make it look close. Unfortunately, I got a little too close a couple of times. But there were very. They had placed very specific prop things that I could throw in a certain order and so that I didn't actually throw a geode at her head, you know. <laughs> I'll buy what I bring. Oh, you won't. Ava's betrayal is a pretty big one, but Deborah has been through a lot in her life. How does this kind of rank in terms of the many backstabs and all the duplicity she's experienced? My first gut reaction to that is to say that it's the worst. It's so awful and so painful, the things she says about me. Even though I don't act like it, I do care what she thinks. Again, it just reminds her that she may lose everything. And then what's she going to do? Not working is just not an option for her. And now, Hannah, um, one line that really struck hard was when Deborah tells Ava, you're as selfish and cruel as I am. Do you think that's true? And how does Ava kind of process that? I think it's really true. Um, I think she takes it to heart, and I think from that moment on, the two are closer. They're both forced to take the hard look in the mirror that reveals that they are the same. There are these people who have kind of been on their own most of their lives, and as a result of that, they have become hardened and they have become sort of unchecked and flawed in these ways that are very similar. Um, and there's just no running from it anymore. And so it's kind of like, oh, wow, okay. I can accept that this is kind of who I am. But the rest of the show from that point on becomes like, okay, how can I be better? How can I change? Now, what can you say about the women's working relationship? Because Deborah says she's going to sue Ava. How, what does that mean for them in terms of their tour going forward? I <laughs> I personally think that Deborah doesn't think that's so awful or that it's such a big deal. I think she try, I think she sues people to drop up a hat and she can't believe that Hannah has never been sued before. 
or sued somebody, you know? So it's like, she's like Donald Trump. It's like, you know, just, you sue everybody for anything. Mm -hmm. And so it's just her way of forgiving Ava, but yet still able to just torture her a little bit and dangle her at the end of a string. <laughs>